The research primarily was looking at the properties of remote static electric collars and looking at the short, the immediate and long-term welfare consequences for dogs. Jonathan Cooper, Professor of Animal Behaviour and Welfare. There were two projects, both of which were funded by DEFRA. The first project was specifically looking at the properties of the collars and the devices, so looking at their electronic properties, uh, what stimuli they produced and how they were operated. The other part of the project, which was ourselves and Bristol University, was looking at the welfare consequences of the dogs, either in training or after training. So partly we're interested in how the dogs are responding to experience of, of electric stimuli, but also does it change, for example, the nature of the relationship they have with their owners? One of the potential conclusions, if they're going to remain legal, is that we tighten up how they're used. So it might be that the parameters for use uh, are changed, it might be that they can't be available to the general public. It might be if people use them, then they have to be trained to go and use them, so it may be uh, more onus on the industry to ensure that appropriate training has occurred before they sell the products. We're currently receiving funding from uh, a cat charity, uh, Feline Friends, and they are funding work to investigate the use of invisible fences for cats, which are a device that you put around the boundary of your property to discourage from your animals from straying. And what we're doing is we're investigating different ways of containing cats, but we'll also be looking at how using these devices, using these invisible fences, impinges on the cat's welfare.